Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, a film that has been making the rounds and come to my attention is the 2019 Sea Fever. I believe it is a independent, perhaps direct-to-video horror. I'm looking at my notes here. Horror sci-fi film set in Ireland or off the coast of Ireland, where instead of the Nostromo, you have a spaceship or you have a fishing trolley, and Instead of the alien being a giant uh, penis monster, it's a boat-attacking jellyfish that impregnates you without face huggers. So, yes. Oh, okay. Not that much to unwrap here. This is a reasonably acted film. If you like sci-fi horror, you put it on your watch list. If you do not like sci-fi horror, it is a watch if you're bored. I mean, again, if you're not into this kind of movie, it is not going to resonate with you. But, um... It is not a Freudian film, as Alien, it has to be considered Freudian because of the Gagarian imagery. But this is not a Freudian film, so when you examine, like, the main character, the main character is a female, and she is a very attractive woman, and you don't really see a lot of that in the filmmaking. So this is a directorial choice where they're going, you know, let's... They, they have scenes where they let's remind people that she's a hot, hot woman. And let's not remind... Let's just get on with the story. And I respect that. Not every story has to remind you how hot the actress is. I mean, I would say that her versus Sigourney Weaver in Sigourney Weaver's Prime, I would still pick her because... She's a beautiful redhead with a little meat on her bones, and Sigourney Weaver is a white toothpick. But that's beside the point. And again, beyond that, what you have is a fairly standard horror movie, and people have mentioned that it is a greater level of relevance because, you know, they, it's a movie that includes something of a disease. And despite the fact that it was made sort of before COVID-19, there's a certain talk about isolation. So it is relevant. Now, again, I love this movie, and it is my jam. I love creature features, and the special effects in this film are awesome. They're really well done. But again, I have to remind, I mean, this is not like a, say, a Friday the 13th, where this is going to become part of the American zeitgeist. This film is, is it's a very well-made film. It is definitely a cult film. And if you enjoy cult films, then it, it goes up to your must-watch list. This is cheesy horror sci-fi at its best. Well-done little independent film. But I have to also acknowledge that not everyone is into that. Not everybody wants to see a scene where some dude's eyes pop. So yes, I am giving this definitely a positive it is a watch if you're bored positively, or put on your no. It is a put on your watch list. It is definitely there. It is a film you should watch sometime in your life. But just remember, there are a lot of other good films that that do come before it. So yes, definitely watch this film. It's an independent great, probably going to become a cult classic. But if you're not into eyeball popping, maybe not your thing. Anyway, just my opinion. I'm Richard. Oh, greetings, humanity. Did you know that Richard, the man in this video, will spend his own money to remove trash from the ocean for every thousand subscribers he gets once he is monetized? Yes. And you can, you can help. You can help by liking and, and commenting on this video and, of course, subscribing yourself. And you should do that. Or else I will come to your house and do unspeakable things to your cheese. Yeah.